Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Korra. So, we've got our nice Christmas digs on, human hair and all, who cares? And, uh, well, we're cutting through grass. Not exactly the best introduction to, uh, probably the finale, but you know what, whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Actually, I have no idea if it's the finale or not. I believe, yep, this is the screen with the big old city in the background. Now anyway, uh, on the previous area with the old lady, there was the comment about, or, you know, there was the question about, like, what did going into Spirit Sight have to do with anything? Realistically, and, you know, somebody pointed this out in the comments, it means she's actually dead, and we are now wearing a ghost grandma's hat. I'm okay with this. Anyway, let's look at Spirit Sight. Uh, I mean, the thing kind of looks cool. It's a bit fat, but then you get up to its face, and it just has this, like, protuberant snout. Honestly... All the other creature designs have been pretty okay. I mean, the crab was a little bit sketchy, but I don't know. As a concept artist, I'm not 100% here. Okay, so we have to climb these rocks just to uh, just to wake him up. Well, that's gonna be some amount of effort. <laughs> when your only gameplay is slowly platforming, you better make it a little bit faster than this. I don't know. It's not even real platforming, it's just getting from, like, up and down. I wonder if I can jump down at the very least. Probably gonna have to take the long way down, though. Anyway, let's wake him up. I always just kind of go a little bit quiet so I can listen to that, but realistically, I might as well talk through everything anyway. So, realistically, I've been saying that word too much. Let's see if I can avoid it completely. Ancient creature, dot dot dot. It's really not even another color? That's disappointing. Oh no, not again! This blasted condition. I apologize for my frustration. It seems my epilepsy has yet again landed me somewhere I shouldn't be. And I don't even have the slightest clue how long I've been out. Last thing I remember was walking home from a bingo from bingo downtown at the church. Well, I mustn't dwell in my misfortune. I've got to get back home. The brisket is in this slow cooker. Must be, the brisket and the slow cooker must be finished by now. So long. Well, that was quite honestly the most unlikely thing he probably could have said. Anyway, let's just pop down. And looks like I have to take the long, slow way too. Seriously, it takes me just about as long to get down as it does to get up. Which uh, is not a euphemism for anything. Let's just be honest here. Okay, so, realistically, been saying that too much, gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta stop. People have been pointing it out. When people point out that I use a word too much, it means I'm using it too much. And, well, I use the word realistically far too much. And I'd be, oh, shoot, that thing again. Okay, so, we're, we gotta be getting close to the top. Top of the mountain, top of the everything, unless we're going to space next. And if we're going to space next, then uh, <laughs> that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, okay, we're not, we're not stuck. I was a little bit worried about that for a second there. Look, da, 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 going up these stairs. Ah. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Just gotta keep going. Keep, keep going. There we go. Oh. Empress, what are you imbeciles doing down there? Come up these stairs. Your Highness, we can't. It's not that difficult. Put one foot in front of the other and climb these stairs now. We tried, your highness. Look! It won't let us through this gate. Doink. Well then, go around the gate. We tried that too. Dink. See? It won't let us through. God, you're all useless. If you can't get up here, then I'm going on without you. I'm almost there anyway. Well, she's a right old jerk. Kinda feel bad. Aw, they're like wolf things. For a second I thought they were like snow people that were waving at me and I got kind of confused. I like the music here. It's kind of chimey. Watch the wolves just pop down and kill me and this is the first level of gameplay ever. I have to do a quick time event to avoid getting eaten. I like that would happen. Well, let's just keep going. We gotta be close. It's one of those where it's like, if I hit the point where, you know, normally I cut the episode, do I just keep going in hopes that I hit the end? I don't know. Maybe. But I'm finishing this tonight. Come hell or high water. By the way, sorry for the really late upload on this. I've had a lot of work thrown at me for a short period of time, and I've, I've almost found it... I found it nigh on impossible to get everything out of the way. Oh, I see. I have to 
jump for whatever reason, even though there's snow and whatnot. I guess I can Oh, I see. No, there's not. Okay. How the heck are... Oh, we're gonna have to double back for this one. If you notice, there's a Buddha statue over there, but there's no way to get down from where we are. So, first, let's look at this. What? Wait, there's a person over there. Chopping, or picking through rocks, and they're being kidnapped. Huh. Well. I don't think he's making it to the top of the mountain. That was a bit of a... <laughs> that was a bit of a non sequitur, but then again, doesn't surprise me that much from this game. There have been a lot of really odd stuff, like Jeff the Pig Creature telling us to light all the shrines. Like I said, I'm gonna have to double back for that one, so that's a bit of a concern, but not that big of one. Just gotta get up, get across, and we'll, we'll be good. Just hope it doesn't take too long. Oh no, I might actually have to really backtrack here to get back to that shrine. I really hope that I can actually make it back there. Uh, did I have a... nope, I did not actually have a spirit sight or anything like that. wonder who lives in this house, and why there's actually grass here for once. Why can't... oh. Okay, I can climb to the top of the house. Maybe there's something blocking? What? <laughs> Alright, I can just climb over the house. I guess that works. Uh... What? Oh. <laughs> Vault 101. Oh, that's adorable. Well, letter on the wall. To whom it may concern, I'm writing this letter. Huh. The words are all smudged, and the paper is completely worn down. Well, can I warm our, us by the fire? Yeah, kind of, sort of, but not really. Anyway, uh, that's a nice Fallout joke. Speaking of, I should probably play Fallout at some point. Roger, to whom it may concern, I'm writing this letter after trekking through the enchanted lands of the Forgotten Realm. After climbing a mountain, of which I believe I've almost reached the summit, I came upon a strange cabin that housed a secret passage dug into the mountain. When I descended into the passageway, I found an, an entire campsite already set up with supplies and food. Relieved, I partook in these items, as my own provisions had run out days earlier. I relaxed that night and slept soundly, only to wait to find a figure standing by the mouth of the cave. He was dressed in a long black cloak and wore a wide brimmed hat. His collar was so tall it covered most of his face, but from what I could see in the dim light, he was wearing a white mask. He spoke to me about the promise of leading a life of boundless freedom and discovery. As we talked, he would often bring up strange references to the wind, speaking mysteriously about it as if it were someone he knew. The last thing I remember is making some sort of agreement with him, and then he was gone. I can't seem to re recall what this deal was about or even what happened in the hours that followed our exchange. I have not seen him since, and for the past few days I haven't been feeling quite like myself. If this letter ever reaches someone, know that these are just the ramblings of a potentially delirious traveler. I just thought I might document this encounter, for in some unexplainable way, I feel I won't be in this world much longer. At least, not the same way I exist in this world now. Well, that's honestly kind of depressing. Let's go back and hop over, light potentially the very last shrine. I can't imagine there are many more shrines after this one, especially because this one actually took a little bit of getting to in comparison to all of the previous ones that I've ever had to deal with. Well, let's get up the stairs and keep going. I like this game, the storytelling, the, the, like, the past vision and all that stuff. Does it just repeat? Nope, he's just writing. Okay, so there's nothing to do but apart, uh, well, apart from just moving. Interesting. I enjoy this game. I'm, it's one of those where it's like, I will miss playing it, but at the same time, I'll be glad to be finished because there's not, oh, I see, that's just to go up. Okay. There's not enough to it to keep my interest much longer than this, but at the same time, what is here is very fulfilling. I don't know, it's weird. I, I guess I just needed a game for once that wasn't so hustly and bustly and stressful and whatnot. 
like, all the games I've been playing recently have been so stressful, it's actually kind of insane, because, like, I've been playing Sticks, Master of Shadows, I've been playing Runers, I've been playing nu uh, Nuclear... Not Nuclear Dawn. A Nuclear Throne, there we go. I've been playing Shadow of Mortar. All of these games are so action-based, and I really haven't played a whole lot of games that have been, well, slow and calm. That's interesting. That, you know, sometimes it's just nice to play a game that is barely even a game by any account. Oh, do I have to... Oh, it's like a almost impossible to see rock. Oh, that works. Anyway, I really hope we actually get to talk to the ghost or something as we go along. He's been following us along for practically this entire game at this point, and you know what? It'd be pretty weird if he didn't actually have any explanation whatsoever and you just kind of, kind of just followed you. Or I guess led, led you, really, because he's always in front of us. He's never been behind. It's interesting. All of this is interesting. I'd be so terrified if I was doing this in real life, you know, climbing a mountain that I don't even understand, leaping across chasms just to continuously climb a mountain where my survival isn't even guaranteed and people have been talking about being lured in by strangers and stuff. But at the same time, uh, considering being down in that town was probably equally dangerous just because, you know, farmers hand out machetes to everybody and, you know, who knows what was in the barbecue. Might have been people. <laughs> Might have been the previous family. Heck, our house had been, uh, well, the area where our house was being built had previously uh, had rocks fall and kill the entire family that lived there. So, you know what? Taking our chances going up into the mountain and going off to see weird spirit creatures and mystical nonsense and gobbledygook, well, that might actually end up being safer for us in the long run. Who knows what kind of uh, wisdom and adventure we're having. But, uh, somebody tells me to go steal the Arkenstone, I'm heading home. Oh, we get spirit vision. What's this one? What? Wait, these are the white mask people. I think they're burning that- wait, is that the Traveler? The pr is Roger the Traveler? Might be. This is creeping me out though. I think it's time for me to leave. Like, quickly. Like, that was really scary. A bunch of white masked people, they were larger than normal, staring at a person who's kind of on fire, and, um, making the kind of low noise. Ugh. Wait, are those the birds? Ah, it's the birds. Normally birds would probably not bother to fly up onto a snowy mountain, but you know what? When it comes down to it, it probably doesn't matter that much. Well, let's just keep going. I wonder if we are going to run into the travel... What? 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 Alrighty then, I... Well, I guess we have another shrine to light. This game... I don't get it. I I don't... I don't get it. It's just... A, it's a schnoz monster, a leg leaf eater, a fat dude, and drinky drink. I can't talk to any of them or interact with them at all. Also, the uh, white bird with the rainbow on his chest and uh, black bird with grayscale. I feel like there's supposed to be some deeper meaning to all of this and I'm just completely ignoring it in favor of... Hey, it's the Traveler. I summoned him, sort of. Hey, and it's also stopped snowing, and it's kind of sandy again. And we're glitching out. All right. <laughs> Traveler, this is it. I've made it. I've made up my mind. I'm staying here, never going back to the real world. This place has changed me. I feel so free. I feel so alive. I'll tell you, I'm back in the world where we're from, the idea of magic had been beaten out of me long ago. But now I know. It's not that magic never existed. It's that it left our world and came here. Ever notice how there's nobody around in this place? Well, that must have something to do with it. Anyway, this is it for me. I couldn't be more happy right now. I hope you find what you're looking for. I certainly have. Farewell, my friend. And he turned into a little blackbird. See, you, dude. Yep, totally normal. Turning into birds and stuff. Can I actually turn into a bird so I can fly away? Walking is slow. And I, I, I prefer to be able to float. Ooh. Mysterious stuff. I don't even know. No spirit sight, though. Nope. Here's our spirit sight. Oh, it's the Empress. Almost there. 
It'd be crazy if she could see our re reflection in the water as she comes by. Or just see us in general. I'm gonna let her pass just to see if something interesting happens. I doubt it. I highly doubt anything will. But, you know what? We're making good time, so we might as well just uh, let her pass. You know? Ladies first and all that. Even if she is a terrible person. As far as I can tell. Yep, yeah, no, she just keeps going. She just does not care. <sighs> About phantasmal time travelers. This game makes me a little bit sleepy, too. But I'm kind of okay with sleepy. Especially with a game like this. Because you know what? You don't need energetic. You don't need energy for commenting over this sort of thing. You just need kind of constant appreciation for how everything works. Spirit dot dot dot. You dot dot dot. Spirit dot dot dot. You dot dot dot. Well, it's the spirit can't pass. So, I guess we leave him behind. And we continue to the mysterious doorway of mysteriousness and stuff. I wonder what's here. Can I, can I go up? Nope. Well, I guess we keep going. Music here is kind of nice. No spirit sight either. See, I thought we'd have to interact with that doorway or something. Can we go up here? Yep, we can. I wonder what happens when we go up. I wonder what happens if we go right. Well... There's also the problem of, you know, even getting left and right in this game. But... See what happens when I go this way. Mysterious voice. Newcomer, you have arrived. Supplied with the divine sight, you made it through this forgotten land. And alas, here to the doorstep of the gods, you must be curious as to why we have beckoned you here. Are you ready to discover the truth? No. Very well, newcomer. Take your time and return when you are ready. Sweet, let's go on adventures. I'm going this direction. Because, <laughs> who knows, there might actually be another shrine over here. That'd be, uh, super tricksy of them, but, you know what? Wouldn't but- what? Uh... Okay, either it's symmetrical, or we're already Groundhog's daying it. Both are 100% possible right now. Oh. I'm glad I came back. That would have been pretty embarrassing if I had forgotten this shrine. Wait, that's the bird statue from earlier. Oh, and there's the Traveler. Worshipper. That means I must have gotten all the spirit shrines. It's the only thing I can think of. So, I guess let's go back, and I have to go back up. But, uh, I guess we found the stopping point for the Traveler. I hope we get to see the birds later, and, you know, the blackbirds with them, too. That'd be nice. All of this is nice. All of this is interesting. And I'm very, very glad that I did not miss that shrine. That would have been, um... Horrifying, really. <laughs> Having to play through the entire game again just because you missed that one shrine. Somebody must have done it, and I feel bad for that poor soul because you know what? We're about to make it. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything this entire way through, which is great. So I want to figure out what the answers are. Are you ready now, newcomer? Yup! Can I move? Can't move. Hey, I took off the sweater and the hat. I'm actually kind of glad we had those on, because otherwise we would have been invisible. Anyway. Ascension. Do not be afraid. I feel like I shouldn't be saying anything here, just to... Oh, I see, we're getting kidnapped by aliens again. Just like that other guy. You have traveled quite far to heed our call, newcomer. And for that, you shall be rewarded. Surprise! Happy housewarming! Now, I know it seems a little elaborate to have you come all this way for a little housewarming gift, but we noticed how some other people in town were giving you presents, and just thought it might be rude not to do so ourselves. Now, this jewel is from me personally. At first we were all going to chip in for something that would have been from all of us, but, well, to be honest, a little competition fired up amongst the group to see who would get you the best present. So, aside from being a priceless jewel of unspeakable powers, it's also the spare key to our penthouse. The others are waiting there to give you their gifts. So, when you walk in, just act like this jewel I'm giving you is like the best gift you've ever received. Maybe say something like, There's no way I will ever get a gift that's better than this one, than this one in my whole life. Or something like that. You get it. 
Great. Thanks. What? Ow. What? Uh. What? 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 Can I go back into town? Am I stuck here? Can I go on adventures? Oh, hey, there are all the people. So, we actually have stuff going on. We can talk to people and see things. I wonder if we can get back. That'd be great if we could go through the game a second time. That would be something special. Kaliu. Oh, my girlfriend sure is pretty, isn't she? Don't be alarmed by her appearance. As I mentioned before, she was born with a condition. Gorilla. Dot, dot, dot. And between you and me, I kind of like her fur. It's softer to cuddle with. And the fact she can't really speak well actually works out, since I'm the tra talkative one. I will say that her obsession with bananas is slightly unnerving, though. Okay, and he just repeats dialogue. Same thing? Yep, same people. I'm trying to talk to everybody else. Oh, I, I can walk away, I forgot that. You can actually walk while talking to these folks. So we've got some kid on the unspeak- uh, on unexplicably high, uh, tire. Don't think we'll ever be able to get to them. Fader. I tried to knock my shoe out of the tree by throwing my other shoe at it, but... Well, you can guess what happened. I just need something else to throw now. Can I give him anything? Nope! Okay, well, see ya. So we've got some people eating down there, can't interact with them much. Tina. She claims that she's stuck in the swing, but I think she's just trying to ride out her turn as long as she can. Help me! I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, uh, looks like these people are all spoken for. Let's keep going, seeing about the town. Because it'd be kind of a shame if I walked back into my house and, you know, skipped out on all of this so important dialogue. Honestly, I kind of enjoy it, though. It does make things exciting. I'm a little bit disappointed thus far. We haven't exactly found out what the uh, spirit was. Or... Or who the spirit was. Or who the Empress was. I have no idea. Or really, what even happened to the Empress? Hey, I can sit down in the drippy chair. Worby. D I didn't tell you? That instrument I gave you is a family heirloom. <laughs> Where it came from originally is kind of a mystery to us. No one can seem to remember who down the line first received it. But it's one old piece of junk, if you ask me. Yeah, sure. Let's see, summon deity spirits or some nonsense like that. I wouldn't give that up. But then again, he's probably an uncreative person and has no idea of its dark and mysterious powers. Hey, at this point, I'm just kind of making fun of the game. That should be obvious. Bench. No more bench. Well, it looks like everybody's no longer partying, and the mariachi band is, uh... Well, that's gone. Let's go see about the farmer. I'm just kind of drawing this out, because it's kind of interesting seeing the town at night. Looks like we no longer have our spirit sight either, because we're not actually able to, uh... see any of the spirits that we saw in the beginning. That ending was, uh... Something special, though, I have to say. I'm really curious what happens if you don't honor the spirits. Really curious. Like, extremely curious. What happens when you talk to the god statue again? Anything? Huh. This jewel looks like it'll fit right into the indentation. Oh, maybe I should have gone home. What? What?